Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to quickly build your own compiler. There are already enough compiler design tutorials on YouTube, so mine will be a little bit different. Instead of teaching you compiler architecture and theory of programming languages, I will show you how to use your knowledge and apply it in practical setting, so you will actually code something yourself. Many people get trapped in the endless cycle of studying theory, but they never actually get anything done. This tutorial will be very short, and in just a couple of videos, it aims to show you how to get things up and running. It will leave you with a good baseline for further development. The compiler that we make by the end will be far from perfect, but you will finally get something working. It will be your first steps to help you get started. Later, I will make further tutorials that start off from this minimal baseline and show you possible routes for further development and optimization. The language of our choice will be Java. I know that in the field of compiler design, many people tend to use C and C++ more often. After all, many compiler toolchains have already been written in C. However, C is not a good language for the beginning. The truth is that the compiler doesn't need to work fast and you don't need the speed of C. And realistically, the efficiency of your compiler depends in 90% on the algorithms and only in like 10% on the programming language. And don't fool yourself, your first compiler will be terrible, will be slow, and you will rewrite it multiple times. Moreover, you should also not be using LLVM or any other backend for code generation, at least not at the beginning. Do yourself a favor and start with transpiling your language to some other existing language like C. In fact, most of the languages out there started in this way. No serious project starts with code generation right away. You should think of your first compiler just as a prototype. The real compiler that you should put all your effort into is the one that you will write in your own programming language. Only once you reach the phase of bootstrapping your compiler, you can start thinking about things such as machine code generation. And lastly, I recommend Java for the beginning, because you can find there are many more tools necessary for compiler development that have much more user-friendly interface and are easier to debug. Overall, Java will increase your productivity and allow you to focus on the important things. First, I start by creating a simple Java project in Maven. Okay, so now that we have our project, first you need to open POM XML and you're going to write here several dependencies. As our parser generator, we're going to use Antler 4. So these are its dependencies. My version is 4.7.1, but in the future it might be newer. So you might want to change this number. We also need to add Antler to build plugins. You can do it like this. This will instruct Maven to compile Antler along with the rest of our project. Next, you need to go to your source directory and create a couple of things. We need to create antler sources. Do exactly like this. This is very important. It has to start with exactly antler4, otherwise Maven is not going to find it. And then after that, hit slash and type the name of your package. For example, my compiler. All right, and then do the same here, new package my and inside this the same compiler all right these packages must be exactly the same and now here we are going to create our first grammar i will call it just simply grammar and add the extension g4 now you can see that i i have this icon it comes from antler plugin if you don't have it i strongly recommend you to go to your preferences to plugins and search for antler4 grammar plugin and install it it will greatly help you it has many great features especially you can visualize all the grammars okay so after you install it come back here so in this video we are not going to write the actual grammar but i will only write some mock-up hello world grammar just to make sure that everything is set up correctly and that it works so we can write something like this it's just a very basic grammar. It only reads string hello world and then end of file. Mm, you need to put it at the end always to let Antler know that this is the end. 
Okay, now we need Java files. So go here, create new Java file, and this is going to be our main class. I will just call it compiler. And here we want to create main function like this. It only starts grammar lexer and parser and runs everything. As you can see, we don't have those classes yet. We, they need to be generated by Antler. In order to do this, we need to build it. However, if you press this button, you will actually get errors and nothing will be done correctly. Uh, instead, we need to go to, oh, as you can see, everything is missing. We need to go to command line. So if you're on Linux or Mac, you can just start up your command line and uh, go to your go to this folder, go to this directory. Okay, so I have mine here and I need to type maven package. After everything builds, we will have the correct files uh, in our target directory. You can see that uh, here this line is very important. It says that Antler and Maven correctly recognized our grammar file. And then you should see generated sources. And here you should see Antler directory. And in order for this to properly read, you might need to go here and go to Maven and reload the project so that all the files created in this process will be correctly loaded by IntelliJ. Mm, okay, so now you can see that IntelliJ correctly found all the classes. The only one that's missing is this one. We will need to create it ourselves. This is mm, the main grammar listener. It will be notified about the, all the grammatical rules that are encountered by Antler at each step. So we go here and we create new class, my grammar listener, and it needs to implement implements uh, grammar listener. This one is going to be generated by Antler as well. All right, and we will just implement all the methods. And here, this and this, these are going to be generated according to how your grammar is structured. We have only one rule, the start rule, so Antler generated these two methods for us. If you named this in a different way, you might see those to be named differently. I have those named enter start and exit start. I'm going to just put here something simple. Sys out start entered and start exited. All right, save it. And now it should work. We can go here, run. Okay, everything works, great. As you can see, this is my source code. Uh, the code, not of Java, but of our programming language. For now, it's just a simple hello world string. It gets matched exactly to this string. So Antler enters uh, this start rule, as you can see, and it goes through these tokens and then exits. You can see it here. So that would be it for now. You have everything set up and running. In the next video, we will create the actual grammar. And in the third video, I will show you how to transpile your code into some existing code like C, for example. You can see link to my code in the description. So thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.